Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and thanks to Movie Armaments Group in Toronto, Ontario, we are up here actually getting a chance to shoot a Polish PM63 today. I'm quite curious to see how this actually runs. So, uh, I have a number of the standard 15 round magazines. This is of course an open bolt gun, and we're going to go ahead and start shooting it as a carbine with the stock extended, what passes for a stock on this thing. You of course have to be rather careful not to let your face creep up on the uh, the action here lest it hit you in the face, but the stock's actually fairly long. So go ahead and extend the vertical front grip and let's see how this goes. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and stand really square into this to maximize the distance between my shoulder, well, between my face and that slide. That's a pretty atrocious gun. Okay, aside from the fact that it's spitting debris back in my face, which is kind of annoying, the sights on this are pretty difficult to use. Um, they're mounted on the slide here, which is reciprocating back and forth as you shoot. Um, I, I, I've heard people suggest that this would be very distracting to see the slide coming back at you. To be honest, for me that doesn't really, I don't really notice that, or maybe I've just shot enough stuff that it, I'm kind of used to it, it doesn't bother me, but that's not an issue. The, the spitting back in the face is annoying, and then it's really hard to get like to try and keep a good sight picture on this thing when the slide, when the front sight's actually physically moving back and forth out of focus. And then the trigger, the trigger is a progressive trigger on this. So you have a, a safety lever here which will lock the gun and prevent it from firing, but in practice it's a, a short trigger pull for semi-auto and a longer trigger pull for full auto, and it's not that much longer trigger pull for full auto, and I'm finding it, it's it's not necessarily difficult to get single shots off, but it's if you're not really paying attention to it, you're going to be firing in bursts. And in bursts, this is going to be a really difficult gun to actually make hits with at any sort of substantial range. So I can make semi-shots there, but... Most of the time it's full auto. So if I were to compare this to other uh, machine pistols out there that I've shot, it's going to come in pretty far down the list. Um, the Schnellfeuer I find to be an easier gun to shoot. Uh, the Scorpion is definitely better than this, and I think also better than the Schnellfeuer, the, the C96 Mauser in full auto. I'm really a big fan of the Scorpion still. And uh, this has not done anything to change my mind. All right, the one thing left that I need to do, obviously, is fire this as a pistol. All right, this isn't going to be pretty. We're going to try for semi-auto. I'm, see, I'm not even sure what the best way to hold this is, because the front grip's a little wobbly. This is probably best, but whether it's justified or not, I'm really actually kind of concerned that this might break, push my hand in front of the muzzle, and then you get like Kel-Tec KSG fingers, which is bad. Bringing it back like this, this kind of grip doesn't really feel very sturdy. This, wrapping my hand around my first hand, kind of feels like the best way to go about it. Um, I'm gonna try that. It's a little awkward. Oh, and I guess I need to take it off a safe, huh? All right, it's controllable enough because it's in 9x18 Makarov, but you're not going to hit squat with this past 25 yards, probably. So, at any rate, I am uh, much indebted to Movie Armament Group in Toronto for giving me the chance to bring out their uh, PM63 Iraq, rack, rock, Polish PM63 to do some shooting with. If you're interested in how this actually works, definitely check out yesterday's video where we went over the mechanics and the history of this, that'll be linked at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.